Why do people do the things they do? It's a question as old as time, yet remains as compelling today. Humans by nature are intricate beings shaped by myriad unseen forces. Welcome to A Journey Through the Social Animal by David Brooks, a book that explores the depths of human behavior and the invisible hands that guide it. First, dive into the realm of the unseen, the unconscious biases that steer the ship of our daily decisions without our awareness. Imagine walking through a crowded street. Your mind is processing thousands of bits of information, making snap judgments about the people around you. These judgments, Brooks argues, are not fully within our control but are shaped by deep-seated biases ingrained through our experiences and societal norms. Understanding these biases can be the first step in navigating the social world more thoughtfully. Next, consider the scaffolding of society, its structures and institutions, from the family unit to global economic systems, these frameworks have a profound impact on individual behavior. Brooks skillfully illustrates how societal norms and cultural expectations can dictate the paths we take, often subconsciously. For instance, the pressure to achieve a certain status or the influence of educational opportunities shape not only individual outcomes, but also societal trends at large. Interpersonal relationships, the core of the human experience, also receive a spotlight in Brooks's analysis. The dance of human interaction, whether in love, friendship, or family, involves complex psychological play. It's fascinating to see how Brooks unpacks the dynamics of these relationships, showing how they can offer profound joy and fulfillment, or lead to deep-seated conflicts and misunderstandings. Brooks does not shy away from the larger societal issues either, education, politics, inequality, these are not just backdrop elements in our lives, but are interwoven with our personal narratives. By understanding how these broader issues affect us, Brooks encourages a reflection on our roles within the tapestry of society. In conclusion, The Social Animal is not just a book about human behavior. It's a mirror held up to our own lives, reflecting how unconscious biases, social structures, and interpersonal relationships shape who we are and who we become. It challenges us to think critically about the forces both within and beyond our control, and to consider the broader implications of our actions on society. Through this exploration, one may find not only insights into the human condition, but also guidance on how to navigate the complex social landscapes of our lives. Remember, the journey through understanding human behavior is not just about observing others, but also about introspecting and perhaps evolving ourselves.